Man, sinuses have got this eye shut down. Well, allergies, not sinuses. It doesn't matter. Anyways, today, pumps and samples. So I'm going to talk about it real quick here. First of all, whenever I bring in dirty fuel, I always take samples of it. Each drum that I pull in here. And I usually transfer whatever drum I'm to it. I transfer drum to drum depending on how it goes so I don't have to unload full drums off the truck. But this guy was right. I got three 55 gallon drums of contaminated diesel and it is spot on no uh, no water in that now this has been sitting for a long time at the customer shop I'm assuming that's water sludge it almost looks like a sediment I don't know. I don't know about that drum. Anyways, talking about the pump. This is a cheap Amazon pump. It is it's like $195 plus tax. Obviously, that's shipped. I like buying stuff like this off Amazon because if it's complete trash and I don't like it, I send it back and it's no big deal. I think my drum's getting close to being done here. Anyways, I forgot to get a valve right there. I need to get a valve for that. So I've been running that this morning. Now this is fuel with a little bit of oil in it. It's what that is. And everybody asks about PSI. PSI is not important. This compressor is maintaining about 55 PSI pumping that pump as slow as it is. So it, this is a 6.2 CFM compressor. So you figure 6 CFM will keep this big pump going non-stop at 50 PSI. That's probably why it's slow. I mean, these people are a diaphragm professional manufacturer. This has got to be top quality, right? Now, half of this doesn't make sense, but this specific one did come with the parts breakdown. I'm assuming data is the actual part number. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't feel like this would ever help me whatsoever get parts for this thing. But uh, I got the little bit bigger one. It has one inch ports. Everything I've got is three quarter inch. But I wanted to get a little bit bigger pump, you know, just in case. Son of a biscuit. Man, it's hard to show one-handed, but it is pumping. Now what I do, everything, before it goes into this fuel waste tank, I filter everything. Everything gets pumped through 10 micron. Doesn't matter how many times I move it. It may be overkill. It may be causing me to slow down because of restrictions, but I like that... Uh, 
those filters are cheap. They're like nine bucks a piece at Royal King. So it's no big deal if I have to swap them out once or twice a week. You know, this girl's only getting, I think, 16 miles to the gallon. So it takes a lot of filters to surpass the cost of the free fuel I'm putting in here. But I've got another big tank I've got to get to put right here to put oil in. I'm going to keep fuel in this one, oil in the one next to it, and try to get this cleaned up. It's looking a little bit junky out here. My wife is really good about me doing anything I want to with anything. She doesn't care, but she does get a little sad sometimes if I totally junk up the yard. Let's see what that compressor settled down to. Yeah, back down to about 50 PSI. So it seems like it's going to be about where that compressor runs is 50 PSI with this. So like I say, I've done a couple hundred gallons, two drums, one drum, I don't know. I've done a lot this morning with this. So far, so good. I think it's a great little... Uh, little pump for the money we'll see how it does when I go pump oil with it and I don't know if the filter is going to be too restrictive when I try to pump oil maybe get a second one for oil or put that filter on a cam lock system so I can just take it off when I want to pump straight oil a couple different options like I say I'm still trying to figure this out kind of up, up in my you know the scale at which I do this stuff you know I separated it with filters in these jugs the first couple times I've done it but that gets old anyways I know a couple guys on the alternative fuel setup uh, or was the alternative fuel alternative diesel and home fuel group I think is what it is on Facebook they wanted to uh, see what I was my setup was and like I say it's not really a, a setup right now it's just kind of a bunch of stuff hodgepodge together trying to make it work but like I say that's kind of what I got going on right now so just trying to clean up a little bit and I'm bringing more oil and more fuel in here you know a couple times a week so hopefully get everything lined up and straightened up and looking good well, you guys be good and be safe and we'll catch you next video same day different location this is over at the farm. Three drums of uh, motor oil here. It's all diesel oil, it's all out of the tractors. I noticed with oil, it collapses that hose. This isn't a suction hose, it's just actually a fuel discharge hose. So I need to see about finding an actual suction hose. I had to take the filter off. I don't know if they were getting clogged that quick. But I got, I think it was like three or four drums done. And then the last one, and that was just with the, with the dirty fuel. Took the filter off, it worked fine. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about that. But like I say, this pump is chugging along even with straight oil and it's cold this morning. Well, cold-ish. I think it's like 35 degrees. I don't know what the CFM is of that big compressor. It's up there by that light. I'm assuming similar to mine. But it's been chugging along like this. I've almost got one drum done. I think they said these were like 20 or 25 gallons a minute. That, nah, no way. Might be 10 or 12. definitely chugging along and this is one reason why I moved that toolbox and put the side boxes on I talked about in the last video that way I can put the drums all the way to the front and strap them to the headache rack slowly but surely yeah definitely gonna have to get a suction hose that is no bueno Anyways, this uh, the whole oil was actually an add-on after the first part of the video, but 
I still wanted to share it in case you were pumping oil and not fuel with it. That's a 10 foot hose. Really a 15 foot hose might be all right. And then I've got a uh, five foot piece of three quarter inch pipe that obviously just goes into a fitting. That's what I use to get it out of the drums. All right, for real this time. You guys be good and be safe, and we'll catch you next time.